Yo, what's up? Title of the video, United We Stand, Divided We Fall. So that's a term that we all know. We all know that if we're united, we can do anything. Uh, we, we live in this land called America, and the power has been within the people, and it always has been within the people. And now it's 2020. We see all these race world wars and all this bullshit keeping us divided to whereas when a lot more bullshit comes in from the government and from this world order that's going on, we're not going to be able to stand together and, you know, have each other's backs and say, no, we don't want this to happen. No, we don't want to live like this. No, we don't want them laws to go down. You know, we've done it before. You know, this country has been built on people standing up for what they believe in, fighting for it, and there's been changes. But if we're not united, if we don't stand together, we can't make any changes. We can't do anything. We can't overcome anything. We're just against each other. We're fighting with each other instead of fighting against the real enemy. Uh, the real enemy isn't a white person. The real enemy isn't a black person. The real enemy isn't a person speaking up for what they believe in, speaking up, speaking their mind, speaking their truth, you know? saying what they believe is right and what they believe needs to be said. You know, that's not the enemy. The enemy is people not speaking up. The, the enemy is people just going with whatever is being told to them, just following like sheep, just saying, oh, yeah, we'll do whatever it takes for someone else to fix the problems, whereas we need to fix the problems ourselves. You know, and we can't do it. You know, strength is in the numbers. Strength is in the numbers of the people out here. And without the people standing together, we, we won't be able to change a goddamn thing. And the shit is sad. We see it now. We see it now taking place. People being too much like sheep. People not speaking. People not fighting together. You know, these riots... Uh, these protests was a beautiful thing because a lot of people did come together. A lot of people did come together and speak their truth. But nothing changed because we're still divided as a people and as a nation. And this, this, this is the whole part of this video, you know. It's not meant to be too long, too special. You know, a lot of people won't even view this. But the people that know me. People who I'm family with, I just want to come and say that, you know, we have to be united despite our differences, you know, despite the fact that someone's black or someone is white. You know, that is low level shit. It's low level bullshit. You know, we supposed to be transcending past them levels. We are supposed to be at a higher state. You know, it's 2020 and we're still living on our knees. We're still crawling on our bellies like snakes. You know, when we're supposed to be flying like fucking birds and eagles out here, free. You know, this is the land of the free. We're supposed to stand behind that. We're supposed to live that way. We're supposed to have our own freedoms. We're supposed to be able to speak up and speak what we believe in without being called a conspiracy theorist, crazy. You know, these are forms of gaslighting. People will gaslight you into being quiet instead of encouraging you to speak your mind and speak your truth, even when that truth includes you. It includes your freedom. It includes your rights. But what I see now is a lot of people divided against one another. A lot of people living with beliefs that keep them away from their neighbor, whether as being together, being in this together. So th this was my only uh, short message about being united, because that's where our power is, is being united in love and harmony in, in these higher elevated states, in these higher emotions of love and bliss and wholeness. You know, and not these lower states of lust and greed and separation and wanting to kill each other. You know, what type of bullshit is this? What type of life do y'all want to live? It don't matter if you believe in hell or heaven or afterlife. What type of life do you want to live here? What type of life do you want to leave behind for your children, for your grandchildren? When I'm making this video, so 20, 40 years from now, when I have grandchildren and they ask what I did during 2020, you know, what did I do? Did I go protest? Did I go speak? Did I, did I fight at all? Did I make any changes within myself? 
You know, I can say, yes, I did. I changed myself. I changed everything about myself. I spoke up. I spoke my truth. And I didn't give a damn who was with me or who was against me. Because a person can be alone. I can be by myself. But I know it's plenty of people who's standing with me, or who, who's united with me. But we all got to unite. We can't just be fucking sheep. You know, we got to be someone with power, with knowledge, with intellect, with love. With compassion for one another. So yeah, this is my short message. United we stand, divided we fall.